Hello, my name is Adam Van Ort and I'm with Legacy Storage Pine Island in Pine Island, Minnesota. Today I'm going to give you a tour of what a 10 by 10 self storage unit looks like. So the first thing that we'll do here is talk about this lock. The lock is built into these units. You can see this is a cylinder lock here that's built in. In addition, it has two spots for additional locks if you wanted to add your own locks for further security. Uh, if you look at this built-in cylinder lock, you can see that there's a tab right there facing to the right. When it's in that position, that means it's ready to be used. It's, it's ready to be unlocked. If this tab is turned counterclockwise or 45 degrees to that tab, you know it's in the locked out position. And that would happen if rent hasn't been paid and is overdue. We would lock out your unit until the unit has been paid. All right, so to go along with that lock, we have this little key. And you can see on this key, we've got a little tab right there that matches and needs to align with the tab right here. So if I put this key in, in this position, it goes right in. All right, again, you can see that little tab right there at the top. That has to align with this tab here. So I point it to the right side. And then this is spring loaded, so I actually have to push the key in a little bit, and you can feel it go in. And then I can turn it clockwise 90 degrees, and now I can pull the entire lock out. So again, the way that this works, I align the little tab on this key with the tab or with the slot on the lock. It's spring loaded, so I push it in, turn it 90 degrees, and then pull it out. Once that's done, I can take this little slide um, that actually locks the door, latches the door shut and I can push it to the left. Sometimes what you'll see is um, this might be difficult to push and in that case you can just put your foot on this handle down here and push it down and then it might be a little easier to slide. These doors are spring loaded so sometimes it can be kind of putting some pressure up on the door and by pushing down it frees up this latch or this slide to move freely. So once I've slid it over there it's unlocked. Now I can go ahead and just open up the door. This is what the inside of a 10 by 10 unit looks like. Uh, the tape measure is not there on all the units. That's just there for this video. Um, you can see everything's metal in here. Uh, ceilings are insulated. Nice, polished, smooth concrete. Really nice, clean units. And we can step in here. The ceilings are anywhere from about eight foot uh, on the door side to probably eight foot six or even a little higher on this side. I, I reach about eight feet high and I can't get up there. So it's about eight feet down on this side where the ceiling slants down. I can touch this one to about eight, six over there. The width and length, we call it a 10 by 10 because it's approximately 10 feet by 10 feet. So if you look at this one, it goes to nine, seven plus the three inches of the tape measure. This is about nine, 10 to this, to this lip here. If you go under there, it's exactly 10 feet to the bottom of that but so don't bring in a 10 foot long rod and expect to be able to put it exactly horizontally in this you'd have to diagonal it um, and this is probably about nine foot eight inches from the back wall this specific unit to where the door shuts here um, but mo the units can vary by a couple inches so don't think a 10 by 10 is exactly 10 feet by 10 feet all right but you can fit a lot of stuff into this unit Grab this tape measure. All right, so that's a 10 by 10 unit. You'll see hanging down from this unit, we've got a nice little string. So if you're vertically challenged and not, not as tall as I am, for instance, I can reach this handle directly, but you might want to reach up here and you can pull down that rope to bring the unit down. And then we just ask when you're closing the unit to make sure that this is inside the door. So especially in the winter, we don't want to drive by and catch it with a snow blower or something or a shovel. You push that down, come over here, oh, see how it's, it, when I'm trying to move this latch over, it's, it's not all the way down, so I just simply need to take my foot and push down there, and then it slides right over. And now I just put the lock in in the reverse way that I took it out. So again, I'm going to look at this lock. I can see that tab right there, that little notch. I want that to be facing the right side, so I slide it in like that. Now I turn the key 90 degrees counterclockwise, pull it out, and there we go. So that is a 10 by 10 self-storage unit in Pine Island, Minnesota, uh, Legacy Storage Pine Island. You can find this at www.legacystoragepineisland.com and rent 
right online. Thank you.